And states may be allocated additional funds to achieve the objectives, sir. As raw material and movement of people are essential for manufacturing sector to achieve economies of scale. Though goods transport is allowed, sir, there are large obstructions to such movement, as many states have been enforcing stricter, me stricter measures on migrant labor and such movements. Already my state has suffered heavily as manufacturing has come to a standstill and agriculture is not able to market the producer. As markets across and the retail trade across the country are closed down, and we being net surplus in most of the agricultural commodities are facing the brunt, sir. Sir, we have provided a minimum support price for almost all agricultural produce due to the above situation. And because of such support, our finances are severely affected. And our consumption is limited, sir. The restrictions on interstate transport of goods has to be fully removed by all the states. And a situation has to come, sir, when a truck, dive, when a truck driver without fear, should be in a position to travel anywhere with his goods without fear of being detained or quarantined, sir. We may all agree that the economy cannot be revived unless there is free movement of goods, migrant labor, and for this, interstate boundaries must erase, sir. Sir, public transport is another sector which is affected unless restrictions on public transport across the states is lifted, sir. Movement of persons for attending to their work will be a major problem. Many people commute, com commute to their work, including the migrant labor. And if it is not allowed, sir, economy will not come back to normalcy. Sir, currently we have seen a situation where migrants are moving back to their original states. But if they don't come back once again to the states where they were earlier working, normalcy could never come back, sir. And for this, the stigma and the fear should go, sir. So sufficient physical distance inside the buses may, however, be maintained. Masks and sanitizers may be made mandatory in public transport. Similarly, sir, shopping centers can also be allowed to function with physical distancing and masks, and masks made compulsory, sir. Sir, while framing standard operating procedures, following points may be kept as the central idea, sir. Norms regarding physical distancing, norms regarding usage of masks, personal hygiene, special focus on rural and urban sanitation, sir. So the measures of upgrading our health infrastructure, sir, what I've just spoken about it some time back, sir, will cost us around 16,000 crores of rupees, sir. Being a new state, we would require support of the union government in achieving this objective. But, sir, apart from what you fund, sir, if the union government can support us by way of interest-free or low-interest loans with long-term repayment period, then we can achieve this object objective easily, sir. All our hospitals would be upgraded to the national standards from the village level to the teaching hospitals and we would in turn build 16 more teaching hospitals, what would be the need of the R, sir. Sir, we would also request that such loans towards health infrastructure, sir, may not be made part of the FRBM limits, so as to give us flexibility in ensuring other sectors do not face such fund crunch, sir. Sir, coming to MSME sector, sir. See, MSME, sir, MSME sector is one sector, sir. In our state, we have around about 97,000 MSME units, sir, which deploy almost 9,70,000 people. Meaning to say, sir, every unit employs 10 people, sir, approximately. Sir, until unless this sector is protected, until unless this sector is handheld, this sector will collapse. Just imagine, sir, in our state, 97,000 units which employ almost 10 lakh people, if this sector comes to a standstill, there'll be uh, unemployment everywhere, sir. So my suggestion, sir, if for your consideration, connected to MSME, sir, for six months, sir, for two quarters, if you can handhold this sector. You know, maybe, you know, every MSME unit has 10 employees in each, sir. 
maybe 10,000 rupees per employee for maybe six months will take care of at least 30 to 40 percent of their salary requirements without having to retrench anybody, sir. Otherwise, people would be just forced to remove them from jobs. Maybe complete interest subvention for six months, sir, for two quarters will help the sector in a big way, sir. So as far as agriculture is concerned, sir, MSP is to be extended to more number of crops, including horticulture, sir. And procurement limits may be enhanced from the current 30% to at least 50%, sir, along with immediate opening up of wholesale and retail markets, sir. This goes a long way, sir. Sir, I would like to also state that our state finances have been severely affected, sir, which also requires your generous support. As, sir, if states are healthy, so are the people of the country, especially the downtrodden, sir. So this, by and large, is the conclusion, sir. I urge you to consider the above suggestions while relaxing the lockdown measures, as I have outlined above, to ensure all the citizens go back to their normal life and the symptomatic persons are handled by the health system through self-awareness so that the country gets back to the track, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, with 3,253 tests carried out per million population, Andhra Pradesh stands exemplary, sir. With 1.14% positivity rate, Andhra Pradesh has one of the least positivity, positivity rates in the India, sir. And our mortality rate with 45 deaths stands at 2.27%. Three rounds of syndromic survey have already been completed in our state, and approximately 30,000 people have been identified as vulnerable by our volunteers, ASHA workers, and ANMs. And we have tested all these cases as well, sir. Sir, having said all these, sir, however, after six weeks of lockdown, we need to look back at what we have learned and how we need to move further. Sir, in my experience handling COVID response in my state, I strongly believe that, sir, first and foremost, if we need to get back to normalcy, the stigma over corona positive persons has to end, sir. Until and unless this fear and this stigma ends, we will not move forward. Corona has been made into such a stigmatic subject that families with persons who are positive are facing severe problems of social ostracization, sir. This has resulted in people not coming forward to report symptoms, which defeats the entire purpose of testing and identifying infected people. The current containment strategy of demarcating an area as containment cluster and that of institutional quarantining may be re-examined, sir. And we, as we move towards a strategy of public awareness, self-reporting of symptoms, testing, treatment, and self-isolation, without fear or stigma, should come into the forefront, sir. If we can create awareness that 97% or 98% of the cases are curable, and only mild symptoms with will occur in 85% of the cases, then stigma attached will go away, sir. So we need to make people prepare themselves to live with coronavirus till a vaccine is produced. Awareness on physical distancing, use of masks and hand sanitizers, and maintaining general hygiene needs priority in these times, sir. Sir, so SOPs need to be evolved for workplaces, manufacturing units, and public places, including markets. Sir, people who have symptoms should be encouraged to come forward themselves for assessment, 
testing and treatment without stigma or fear. This should be facilitated by notifying the assessment come sample collection centers and COVID-19 hospitals. We may also provide access to telemedicine facilities and call center facilities to avail services for assessment and testing and treatment. High-risk persons need to be educated, made aware of the risks, and public should be explained about how to home isolate on their own, sir. Sir, physical containment strategy, which involves drawing of circles and circles, and institutional quarantining, should also have an exit plan, sir. And the stigma should be done away with. So this fear and this stigma, which is compounded by high focus from media, sir, should now focus on confidence building and removing the stigma by driving the message that 95% of the people are cured and the disease is curable. Individuals would have to be empowered to take care of themselves and their family by right kind of messaging. This brings to the point that we require a major overhaul of the health system, sir. So during COVID response, we were able to ramp up the hospital beds and ICU beds to a good level, sir. But we need to improve them much, much, much further, sir. Sir, major reforms in the health system from village level to the highest teaching hospitals in the state should be the need of the hour going forward, sir. To set up a clinic in each village in the state with staff deployed on a 24 into 7 basis, sir. Taking up new medical colleges, one at least for every parliamentary constituency, sir. Sir, I, 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 I'm just pressing on this point as parliamentary constituency because that is a more uh, uniform figure because every, every state has got different sizes of the districts, sir. So as to make the doctors and nurses available in adequate numbers, sir. So the hospitals at, the, at every tire should also be totally revamped to bring them to national standards, sir. Sir, our health infrastructure at village level should be strengthened in such a way that if any person is having any symptoms, they should be in a position to access the village clinics, get an advice, followed by treatment, sir. Similarly, sir, we need to keep our villages and towns clean, sir. This requires a major pumping of funds to the local bodies to maintain cleanliness and ensure that environment in both urban and rural areas are clean and hygiene. This is very much in line with your ideal, sir, of Swachh Bharat.